It's an unprecedented situation in the south. Unprecedented rains over the last few days in the catchment area of the Penna River in Andhra Pradesh have caused a 140-year record flow. The excess reservoir water has been released into Tamil Nadu. And now there's a heavy rain alert along the Tamil Nadu coast called for Tuesday. In India, Silicon Valley, in Bangalore, boats are now being used as cars have been washed away. The November rain for Bangalore has been 400 times above normal. So much so that we saw an inundated library, a cubicle filled with muddy, flooded water and few people moving about in ankle-deep water trying to salvage what seems to be like record material on shelves, partially submerged in water. These were the visuals that emerged from the premier research institute in Bangalore, the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research got flooded this morning due to incessant rains in parts of Karnataka. And we've seen a November rain in the south well above the normal levels at this time of the year in Bangalore. There has been an excess of 428%. In Chennai, 238%. Ernakulam and Nellore all in the 132%. Uh, above and Chittor, 238%. And Karnataka received record-breaking rainfall. So far, 24 people have lost their lives due to the rain and crops in five hectares have been damaged. The chief minister has announced compensation of one lakh rupees each to all those whose homes were destroyed due to the rain. The NDRF had to be deployed in northern Bangalore to rescue people stranded in an apartment. <laughs> Boats evacuating people in India's Silicon Valley, Bengaluru. This is towards the airport. The water level rose to 4 to 5 feet in this area. All the cars parked here were submerged. It rained again very heavily last night. So because of that, the water level has risen much higher than what it was on Friday. So there's no water or electricity in the house, so we decided to move out. Almost 130 cm so उसके वजह से जो पानी भरा हुआ है उसी का नतीजा ये है और ऑलमोस्ट हमारे यहां 603 अपार्टमेंट है 1.5000 के ऊपर लोग रहते हैं यहां पे द रेन कॉज्ड वाटर लॉगिंग इन मेनी एरियाज इन द सिटी लेट एट नाइट एंड कंटिन्यूड टिल द मॉर्निंग Relief workers worked hard to discharge the water but found it tough as the apartment is allegedly built on a lake bed and their natural drainage now. We are getting into the reports of whether they have deliberately made some buildings on the uh, storm water drains or uh, on uh, uh, area. The rain has broken all its previous records. Here in Bangalore, the municipal authorities tried their best to ensure that there is no water logging across the city and they were successful to a great extent. But it was beyond their control to stop water logging in and around apartments built on the path of lakes. With camera person Kumar, Nehal Kidwai from Bangalore for NDTV. And the south has been hit by a deluge of rain over the past couple of weeks as a depression from the Bay of Bengal recently crossed between Tamil Nadu and the Andhra Pradesh coast, causing heavy rainfall and subsequent flooding in multiple states, including Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh, in the process. A boat rescues Banita and her three children after waters enter their home at Manali in North Chennai. Their neighborhood in knee-deep to waist-deep waters after 35,000 cusacks was reportedly led into River Kosastolayar from the Pundi Reservoir following rains and heavy discharge from neighboring Andhra Pradesh's Chittu district over the weekend. Many had left their homes. 
not even uh, get uh, milk for my children as well as food uh, we are uh, facing so much of difficulty and e even the snakes are coming inside the house and so many insects so that's why we are moving now uh, to my mom's house dr benjamin wades through waters to reach his patients and we have been suffering from here yeah, from from since saturday uh, it's full of uh, this yamar uh, binagar is full of with water with rain water and people are not going to uh, not able to go out for do any work and all then lakshmi's family had moved in 2 years ago it's an approved layout but the construction of storm water drains is not complete yet officials are telling that there is no way for uh, water going out they have to find out the water and they should have uh, they should uh, discuss with the local people uh, in which way they have to get the uh, drainage facilities everything if they would have completed in the stipulated time we wouldn't have faced this much of struggle this year the area is dotted with industries many worried about the setback they will suffer because of the flooding the city has already received 66% more than the average rainfall 54.5 cm versus 90.6 and with met forecasting more rain there is worry chennai corporation says the discharge has been reduced and the waters would recede soon a 5000 crore project they say is connecting many new areas with the storm water drains network even as the heart of chennai breathes easy it's a nightmare for this northern pocket residents are angry that even 6 years after the 2015 floods there is no functional storm water drains yet and this will be a major challenge for the new dmk government which has been blaming the aia dmk regime for this mess at the manali new town with suresh sam daniel find the tv and other pradesh's nellor experienced the worst floods in 140 years there's been no fresh rain since yesterday so there's no more threat of inundation but the focus is now on rescue and relief work huge relief for 30 passengers rescued from a private bus that got trapped in flood waters in anandpur district of andhra pradesh on monday Andhra Pradesh got its highest ever northeast monsoon this season, some 39 percent above normal. But it is unprecedented rains in the usually drought-prone Rayalaseema districts of Anantapur and Kadapa that caused the maximum damage, inhuman lives lost, breaking road links, cutting off several towns and villages. This bridge in Kadapa district collapsed on Sunday, unable to take the force of flood waters, snapping the road link with Anantapur. Officials say Nellor barrage got a record 140 year high inflows from river Penna that in fact broke national highway 16 that connects Chennai with Vijayawada and Kolkata the link has been temporarily resumed and yet 35000 people are still in 90 relief camps as the waters are receding slowly with input from Anantpur Kadapa Chittur and Nellur Uma Sudhir NDTV And India's vaccine stocks have doubled in November even as stocks of private hospitals are set to expire and in the face of this vaccine surplus doctors are urging that booster shots be administered to the vulnerable but a decision on boosters for the vulnerable and kids immunizations is expected only in the next 2 weeks while the vaccine availability has nearly doubled the government is still undecided on administering the third dose or the additional dose The data reveals that the vaccine availability has nearly doubled in the month of November. As per the data, the average vaccine availability in the third week of October was somewhere around 10.85 crore, whereas it has nearly doubled to almost 22 crore in the third week of November. This, when the average vaccination rate is somewhere around 65 lakh in the third week of November. This data is very important in the context of rising demand for the additional dose or the booster dose. Government sources have told Indian TV that the national expert group on covid vaccination is likely to meet this week and in this particular meeting the expert group will discuss the need for additional dose or the third dose sources have also added that the committee will discuss the need for administering the additional dose or the third dose for the immunocompromised people sources however say that any decision on administering the third dose or the additional dose will be purely based on science and will not be based on mere excess availability of vaccines 
sources however clarify that the focus as on date remains on vaccinating the adult population as per the target. Sources have also added that the National Technical Advisory Committee is also expected to meet in two weeks to formulate and to finalize a comprehensive policy for the additional dose. And thousands of farmers held a rally in Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh, that will see crucial state polls in less than six months, days after Prime Minister Modi announced the government's intent to roll back contentious farm laws. While a decision on the future of the protest will be taken by top farm leaders later this week, those who attended the rally were unanimous in talking about many more demands, especially a law to ensure MSP or minimum support price for all crops. Thousands of farmers at this Lucknow Mahapanchayat, organized by the Sayukt Kisan Morcha, days after Prime Minister Modi's farm laws repeal announcement, with only one resolve. Farmers from across Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab came to the Lucknow Mahapanchayat while no decision on the future of the movement was taken. At the same time, the presence of so many people here in Uttar Pradesh's capital definitely sent out a message to the government that the farmers' protest is still very much on. A decision on the protest is likely this Saturday when all top farmer leaders meet. But in Lucknow, they asked that other demands be met, including a law that guarantees MSP or a fair price for produce. An action against MOS home Ajay Mishra, whose son is accused of the murder of farmers in UP's Lakhimpur. MSP ka sawal hai. Kanuni guarantees ko mil jaye. Isme na chhota kisan hai na bada. Isne 10 quintal peda kara, kisne 100 quintal peda kara. Uska lab sidda usi ko mil jaye. Top BJP leaders were 300 kilometers away from Lucknow in Gorakhpur, CM Adityanath's home turf, where party chief JP Nadda addressed booth level workers, pitching the Modi government as farmer friendly. Kisan Andolan ki baat karte hain, aur kisan ke baare mein baat karte hain. Mitro, bahut se kisan neta, kisan neta ke naam par jaane gaye. Lekin jo kaam kisan ke liye kiya, but other top UP BJP leaders like Unnao MP Sakshi Maharaj threw jibes at farmer leaders. Farmers in Lucknow also said they intend to go ahead with the proposed march to parliament early next week. With Salim Khan in Gorakhpur and camera person Rajesh Gupta, this is Alok Pandey, NDTV. And in Punjab, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that a thousand rupees per month will be transferred into the accounts of all the women in Punjab if his party, AAP, is voted to par in the 2022 Assembly polls. And along with his poll promises, he launched an attack on the current Chief Minister, calling him a fake Kejriwal. NDTV Sharad Sharma caught up with Arvind Kejriwal. Sir, I want to ask you about Punjab. The Prime Minister of Punjab is saying that you have launched your own plan for the people. They are saying that the people want their own rights, which the Congress is giving them. They don't want their own rights. If they have said that, this is a sad thing. What did I say? I said that if our government will become a female, then every woman of 18 years and over, every woman of 18 years and over, हजार रुपए उसके अकाउंट में डलवाएंगे तो वो इसका क्यों विरोध कर रहे हैं उन्हें तो खुश होना चाहिए इससे पहले ही वो बात बोल रहे हैं मतलब इस पर्टिकुलर इस पे नहीं सारी महिलाएं आप सबसे पूछ लीजिए आज मैंने देखा टीवी चैनल सड़क पे महिलाओं से पूछ रहे थे सारी महिलाएं इतनी खुश हैं कि भाई चलो हमें हजार रुपए महीना मिल जाएंगे आप जैसे कोई ग्रहणी होती है यही ग्रहणी है अगर इनको हजार रुपए महिला मिल महीना मिलेगा तो ये अपने लिए सौ चीजें ला सकती है बच्चों के लिए कुछ कुछ ला सकती है एक कॉलेज जाने वाली बच्ची है उसको उसके कॉलेज की शिक्षा अच्छी मिल सकती है अगर हजार रुपए महीना मिलेगा तो इसका तो स्वागत करना चाहिए वो पता नहीं क्यों विरोध कर रहे हैं कांग्रेस क्यों विरोध कर रही है अकाली दल क्यों विरोध कर रहा है गेम चेंजर हो सकता है आपकी ये ये योजना जो है उसके पैसा बहुत चाहिए मैं देख रहा था करीब हजार करोड़ में लगता है एक महीने का चाहिए होगा मेरा अपना अनुमान है आठ से दस हजार करोड़ के करीब जरूरत पड़ेगी और पंजाब का बजट दो लाख करोड़ रुपए के करीब है इतना तो हम अपनी बहनों को दे सकते हैं and the state government in Andhra Pradesh has withdrawn the controversial three capital bill after facing 
massive resistance from several quarters. The southern state has been witnessing protests for over two years over the proposed law. Three capitals proposed in the bill were the Executive Capital Advice Act, the Legislative Capital at Amravati and the Judicial Capital at Kurnool. In the Mundu Pravesh Petun of Biluno, Prabutum, Venekatis Kuni, In the Mundu Chepin, Anni Amshalano, Parigan Lake Tiskuni, Mali, Purti, Samagramaina, Merugana Biluto, Sabamunduku was Tundi. Trinamool Congress MPs met with the Union Home Minister in Delhi over alleged police brutality in Tripura. The immediate conflict, alleged BJP violence against the Trinamool in Tripura where civic polls are due on Thursday and assembly polls in 2023. Trinamool Congress bringing its battle against the BJP to Amit Shah's doorstep. First, at his office at North Block. Demanding a meeting with Mr. Shah, over a dozen Trinamool MPs sat on Dharna, shouting, Kala Habe. Four hours later, Amit Shah invited them to his home for talks. It was a 20-minute meeting. Maybe the pressure we put on through our dharna was responsible. But anyway, all that ends that, all's well that ends well. He met us ultimately. Did Mamta Banerjee have anything to do with Mr. Shah's change of mind? Before she left Kolkata for Delhi, she issued an alert. She is meeting, she said, the Prime Minister on Wednesday. I'm not going to join the dharna, but I'm going to meet my MPs because they are sitting from the morning. So I, I will go there to express my solidarity to my MPs. The immediate conflict, alleged BJP violence against Trinamool in Tripura, where civic polls are due on Thursday and assembly polls in 2023. A TMC leader was charged with attempt to murder and even attacked at a police station. The BJP in Tripura and Bengal denies Trinamool's claims. Today's developments are a curtain raiser to a fresh battle launched by Trinamool with eyes set on 2024. Mamta Banerjee's three-day Delhi visit just ahead of a parliament session that promises to be stormy may just set the pace. In Delhi, with Shashi Kancha, Monadipa Banerjee, NDTV. And finally, for shooting down a Pakistani F-16 fighter aircraft in the aerial combat on the 27th of February 2019, Wing Commander, now Group Captain Abhinandan Vartman, was awarded V Chakra on Monday by President Ramnath Kovind in an investiture ceremony. Group Captain Bartman Abhinandan. And that's the news at this hour. Stay tuned for constant updates.